National Library of Scotland have digitised out of copyright ordnance survey maps. Including with this vast collection, there are air photo mosaics from 1944 to 1950. In this video, I will look at the train stations. So, Mitcham Junction. Two maps. This one looks a bit dark. Let's look at this one a bit lighter. Prepared from photographs taken in January 1946. The reuse is CCBY, which means as long as I give a link, I can do pretty much what I want with it. The first thing to look at is the train station itself. We see the footbridge, platform, the platform roofs, golf course over here. And on the south side, we have the army barracks and gun emplacements. Look at that. That looks like the shadows of the anti-aircraft guns. Let's go back to a view just below that. Oh, look at that. It's not available. Never mind. Let's go back to this. go back to the other one. Do we have more detail on this one? What is this? A scale 1 to 10,560. What was the other one? Scale 1 to 1250. We won't see much detail. We won't see as much detail as the 1250, but let's have a look. As I say, it's a bit dark. Let me see the common. This is the area which today is called the gun site. That's the Carl Shorten Road. That's the footpath, which is the boundary between Sutton and Mitcham. Footbridge over the railway line, which is still there. This footbridge was demolished fairly recently, annoyingly, by National Rail or Network Rail, what they're called. Yes, so what we were saying is, I uh, can't actually see any detail. This was what we had in the previous image. And these are barracks, one supposes, which after the war were purposed for housing for people made homeless by the aerial bombing. But we can see the overview of Carshorton Road, the path. There's, uh, there's Bennington Corner and the Goat Pub, so Goat Road. My name's actually on this. Okay, never mind. It looks as if the area is basically a field. Let's go back to the previous one where we had better detail. More close up, better zoom level. So, there we go. Yes, the, the, these do definitely look like the shadows of the guns. And they're pointing north. Which I suppose means in 1946 it was like, oh well, let's um, aim them at London. No, just joking. And there's the railway line that today continues down to Hackbridge. And this other line continued to West Croydon, which has now been replaced by the tram. Let's have a look at an OS map. That's what I was doing just now, wasn't it? Let's compare this with a road map. Again, as it says, CCBY, do what we want. There's a footbridge, two platforms, station house, golf course, 
SB. There's a signal box. Let's have a look at that. That there, isn't it? The golf club house is there. Don't really see much detail, but never mind. Oh, it was a say. And this is nineteen fifty three. So we're in the period of time from 1946-53. A few of the buildings have already been taken down. The guns have gone. Wouldn't it be cool if they left the guns behind as a national monument? Never mind. All right. So that's Mitcham Junction. Let's have a look at Mitcham Station. London Road, Walden Road, Tramway Path. You can see a footbridge there. Let's compare that with the street map. Yes, you can see the foot footbridge there. And also it's worth noting that you see where the Crown Pub is here. That's the station house. And the dotted line represents the passenger way plus the ticket office. Steps down to the Croydon bound platform. Footbridge over to the Wimbledon bound platform. You can see the hip roof of the station building. And the footbridge over. There's a signal box on this one. Railway cottages. Not there anymore, are they? Obviously, engineering works. One of these factories was Universal Tools. One of my uncles worked there. SB, that's a signal box, isn't it? Dear oh dear, SB signal box. Where's the aerial photo? Somewhere here. Let's have a look at Merton Abbey Station. It could be there. Let's look at the street map and find it that way first. in every station good yards so sidings basically can we see any detail on this map I think we can see wagons the sidings there. A 
as a passenger service. I think Merton Abbey Station stopped serving passengers in the 1920s when the underground was uh, extended to Morden. It just couldn't compete. But it's still used for goods for a period of time. I'm going to say this is 1946, January 1946. Right, let's continue the journey and seek out Teeting Station. Ah, uh, that's tedious. It's not there at the 1250 level, it's only there at the 10,000 level. That's a shame. I was hoping to cover all the railway lines. It was the case in 1946 that you couldn't get out of Mitchum without crossing a line. And in fact, that became part of the local expression. Someone who wasn't from around here was probably from over the line. Wasn't, wasn't from Mission, it was probably from Tooting. Or Streatham. Yeah. Over the line. No, can't see any real detail there from the aerial view. Let's have a look at the street map. Uh, so, uh, Fix Marsh. Hmm. Come on. Right. Come on. Tutin Station. Interesting, it's called Tutin Station in 1950. It was always referred to as Tutin Junction because it was a line that split off this line here to Wimbledon via Merton Abbey and this line to Wimbledon via Hayden's Road. Well, my parents used to call it Tutin Junction as well. Oh, well, look, there's a Tutin Junction market. It only says Tutin Station there. Okay. So that's a quick overview of train stations that you can see from the Ordnance Survey Air Photo Mosaics collection, 1944-1950. The link to the page I started off with will be in the description. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like this video, consider pressing the like button. Thank you.